Okay, everybody, let's get started with today's question. And it's called group anagrams. And it's a very popular question asked in many big companies and for their interviews. Amazon SDE interviews ask these questions. So does Facebook's interviews and Uber's interviews. It's a medium difficulty interview question and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so group anagrams is the question's name. It's a medium difficulty question and the question is very simple. Given an array of strings, group anagrams together. Like I said, it's a very simple question, but you guys need to understand what an anagram really is. Let me tell you what an anagram is first. This word is called eat, E-A-T. And this word is called T, T-E-A. Are these words anagrams of each other is the question. And the answer is, yes, they are. You know why they are? Because this word and this word are fundamentally the same because they have the same characters in them. Let me try and put this word to you guys in a different way. I'm going to sort these two words out in ascending order. You see that? EAT just becomes AET and TEA becomes AET as well because I'm just I'm just sorting both these words in alphabetical order. Compare it two words, if they have the same list of characters in them, they're anagrams. So now since you guys know what an anagram is, let's go on to the question. So we have an input here, which all it is, is it's a list of strings from each of these words in this list, group all of the anagrams together in one list. EAT, TEA, AET, they all, they're just the same word and they're just that their characters are jumbled up. So they're all anagrams of each other, right? So we basically put them in one group and make them its own list. Similarly, NAT, if we were to sort it, it becomes ANT, and TAN, if we were to sort it, becomes ANT as well. So these two are anagrams of each other. Group the anagrams together. Let's go ahead and do this in code. I'm going to use Python for this one. It's simple. Firstly, you have to loop through your list of words. So let's loop through that. I is going to one by one pick up every single word in your strings list, right? What are you going to do with each word that you pick up? First thing you're going to do is sort it because that's the only way to compare it with any other word to make sure that they're anagrams of each other. So let's go ahead and sort it. All we're going to do is sort the word in ascending order. So when you do this, EAT will become AET because it'll sort it in ascending order. Sorted returns a list. So we would have to convert that into a string. Now, since we have the sorted word, we have to store that sorted word somewhere so that every other word in our string can compare itself to that sorted word so that it knows if it's an anagram of that word or not. So we're going to have a hash map to actually store the sorted word. Now let's take our hash map and we will store our sorted word as a key in our hash map for other words to compare itself to. If the sorted word is not existing in our hash map already, we have to make a new sorted word and assign it an empty list. So why I put this empty list there is because there are going to be many words that will want to attach itself to the key. So that's why I'm making a list so I can just append all the words that are anagrams of each other because one word can have many anagrams, right? That's why I have a list there. This particular line only has to be done if the sorted word doesn't already exist as a key in your hash map. So as long as sorted word is not in your hash map, you could you would just you would put it as a key in your hash map and assign it an empty an empty list in another situation if the sorted word already exists as one of the keys in our hash map all we have to do we have to take the word we're currently looking at from our list of strings and we're going going to say if i was to sort this word will it be the same as the key in my hash map if it's going to be the same let me append it to this particular list which is associated with that key and that's what I'm going to do. So if the key already exists in my hash map, I'm just going to look for that sorted key. And I'm going to append the word I'm currently looking at. Now I just have to return once this is all through 
I'll just return the values in my HMAP, which is all lists at anyway, so I'm just going to return the values. And let's see if that works. It is a little bit on the slower end, I'm not going to lie, but it works. If you have any suggestions on speeding this up, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, peace. Leave a like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it a lot, and catch you all later. Thank you.